twofer. Not a twofer. A two four. Uncle Bokow, I'm here. And check these bad boys out. These were sent to me by Jim. Thank you, Jim. Uh, Refined and Fire Chilies. This is it. A Sarah it got. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Sarah it got. Sarah it got. Okay. And I forgot where this chili was grown, but you can look it up and you can uh, order isolated seeds of this. Look at that thing. It's freaking huge. I can't remember the origin of it, but it was surprising when I when I was when I was told about it. I wish I had another phone here to look it up. And then we got something that is gonna light me up. So it's early in the morning, empty stomach. I got some food, but I already know better. I have stuff to do today, and I have to work. This is a Thor's Hammer Red. Never tried either one of these peppers, so I'm very excited, guys. <coughs> uh, both of those pods, you can go to superhotchilies.com. And you can order yourself some isolated seeds. All right, let's just, we'll, we'll go in with a Sarah Got Solo Bite. <laughs> wow. Really good. Sweet, fruity. Starting to get some heat. Faint hit citrus notes. This, guys, is a winner right here. Look at the size of it. Wow. Wow. This might have to be something. I might have to get some, some seeds and grow for Eliza. It's probably too hot for her this year but she's working her way up last year she ate brazilian starfish this year she got the lemon spice jalapeno well some people say those are the same heat but she was eating the brazilian starfish whole lemon spice jalapeno i wish i had one here she might have a little play but she eats half of it and puts the placenta like the end of it down for, for save it for daddy they light her up all right let's try them Try a couple slices of this on some food. Wow. Now I'm getting the heat. Took a couple minutes. It's a builder. It's a builder. Alright. I'll just I'll just do I got tons of sauce, but I'm just gonna do a little Scotch bonnet sauce to so I can glue this thing here. Like that there. A big old chunk there. Alright. Let's try this. Mm. <laughs> wow, that is so delightful. Guys, it's still early pod season for me. I didn't start early this year. I didn't order pods. Only two boxes from January until now. Now, I have had some people send me some pods here and there, but we went a long time and we really were fighting the urge and saying, no, man, we'll just appreciate them more if we don't have any for a while, but I'm not, I'm, I think, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I got indoor, I always have something indoor growing. This is just a house plant. It's really a prima tally. <laughs> but literally, this is book. I wanted some hot pepper plants just to grow alongside of her house plants um they kind of they don't produce well i know if i get a grow tent and do everything the scientific way all right i'll get a bite of this and then try a slice of this thor's hammer i'm, I'm not eating the whole thing don't don't even ask i already know I've heard how hot this thing is. Just smell it. Oh, it just smells hot. It's got that red chinen smell. Sort of like a primo, maybe like a... I mean, it smells good. I love that smell, but... Hmm. Don't know what the cross is. If you know what Thor's Hammer is, comment below. I know that there is a peach... 
variant. And I believe that uh, Mr. Duffy has those two seeds. Um, and then there's the red variant. So let's see what it do. Oh, it tastes really good. Hmm. Let's do another piece. A little bit bigger. Wow. Man, that's a really good tasting red pod right there. I don't like all red pods. You guys know that. If you're watching the channel long enough, you, you would know better. Mmm. Got some sweetness to it. I'm not getting any floral or bitter at this point. Wow. Sauce makers, take note. This might be the one. But still nice and fresh. The stem's green on it. But it's so. This smells so good. I just touched it to my nose. Interesting, ma'am. That's a good pepper. You guys have known, you've seen a lot of my Red Pod videos, and you know that I, a lot, there's a lot of them are very floral, you know? All right, we're, we're going hard in the paint, jabroni. Whew. Wow. I'll tell you this. Any of you sauce makers that are using Carolina Reaper as your main ingredient, I would honestly say switch to this pepper. And I'll tell you why. Reaper has floral and it has a lot of bitter notes to it. And when you cook it in a sauce, most people have to add maybe some bell pepper, you know, onion, fruit. Some people add sugar to take out that bitterness. This pepper does not have what the Reaper has. It's got heat. I'm, I'm burning right now. It doesn't have the floral or the bitter. And it's weird because you, when you smell it, it smells like a red super hot, but it doesn't have that disgusting floral. You guys know me. I hate the, uh, you know, I hate the the red maruga scorpion. And I know there's people that love it. And don't hate me because I hate it. <laughs> I'm sure there's peppers that I love that you can't stand. Trust me. Um, but uh, the red maruga scorpion, I love it when it's dried. But fresh, I've never acquired a taste for it. And it could be because the first time I ever bit into one, I was expecting something different. Um, I had tried the yellow scorpion smooth and like yellow nagas, different peppers before I tried a red maruga. Um, I, um, I made a salsa with red marugas, cut it all up. I didn't, I didn't care for it. Uh, and then I, bit into one one day and it lit me up man let me tell you that the heat from them don't sleep on it do not sleep on it at all that pepper is i think the hottest of the naturally occurring or i can't say naturally occurring or let's say naturally occurring and or heirloom okay but um but anyways, this does not have those the floral notes or the bitter notes of the Reaper or the Maruga. I don't know what the cross is. Somebody comment below and tell me. Or if I remember, I'll go look it up. This is such a good 
It's such a good pod, man. So like I said, you guys can go to superhotchilies.com and you can grab isolated seeds. And you know, about 70% of my grow is isolated. The stuff that isn't, I don't really care about. Although there's, I got some, you know, I would like to have two of this plant, three of this plant, and you know, sometimes I line up with one because the other thing was open pollinated. I'm going to tell you why it's bad. It's very bad for me to keep seeds from peppers. Now other growers that have a row or two rows or three rows of this, and then they got rows of this, not as much of a chance of it. With me, I got predatory wasps and hornets that patrol my plants every day. So I don't have aphid problems. I only had aphids a little bit in the spring and I put ladybugs out there. Ladybugs were gone in three days and then the wasp came. They were, you know, they don't come out early. But that's it. All the years of growing peppers. Um, that being said, if you have, and I have bees. I mean, there's, there's, uh, um, I've seen honeybees, bumblebees. I haven't seen any honeybees this year. Maybe. Or wood bees, bumblebees, whatever. I, I'm in the South. I thought they were all bumblebees. They said there's a difference. Um, carpenter bees. I don't know what, I don't know. I know some of them look smaller than others. Um, sometimes you see these black wasps. Uh, the predatory wasps, I guess what they call them, the littler, skinnier ones. Those i seen a lot more last year. This year is hornets. The hornets have been my number one best friend. And there's some baby mantises out there. This is all God. Glory to God. I didn't put no mantis eggs or no wasp, not, nothing out there. But Mrs. Bokow took a picture of a baby mantis on the bush next to my plants yesterday and sent it to me. So uh, with that being said, I'm rambling now. Sorry. The whole point of this is why... Have I gotten, like people see, I get these axial crosses. Well, I have heavy, um, heavy pollinate, pollinators that are patrolling these plants continuously, you know? And if it's a calm, not windy day and, and a, a flower opens, one of them wasp patrols and touches that flower with its feet with other pollen. There you go. You know, it happens. But that's why, like I said, isolation is important. I'll always fight for it. I'm, I'm very transparent. I show you guys non-isolated versus isolated plants. Sometimes they come out the same, but sometimes they don't. And if you're growing, and especially if you, uh, we're growing big you know you don't want to just keep a hundred seeds out of one pepper and germinate all of them and you're expecting to get so you wanted a yellow scorpion or something you're gonna make sauce with it for a year all of a sudden you end up with some weird looking red pod that just comes from out of nowhere you have no clue what it is what the hell is that I know what those seeds are. I took them out of the pepper myself. But you don't know what it crossed with. You don't know. It got. It, got, it done got ruined. So, <clears throat> anyways. Um, overall, both of these peppers are excellent, excellent pods. Um, let's go in with a... How about before we sign off, because I'm getting... It's getting kind of long here, because I'm long-winded. Let's do let's do a, a combination bite. This is a bacon egg and cheese crunch wrap here with the with the hash brown pudding. We're gonna put this last chunk of of, of the Thor's hammer there and then and then go in with a a piece of the yeller. Try a bite with both of them there. In unison, no fighting, no fighting in the pepper community. Yellow and red team up for this awesome mashup of flavor. Mm. Wow. 
Bam. That's the best bite I've had in a while of anything. <laughs> it was so good. Wow. That's really good. Um. So anyways, like I said, Refined Fire Chilies has isolated seeds of this. And uh, it's making me sweat. Um, the Thor's Hammer, if I would have ate that without food, I'd be in panic mode right now. Uh, I'm glad I didn't. Um, it had good heat. Was not bitter or floral or anything at all. Really good. It had good sweetness, good red pod flavor. So I would say that pepper is Uncle Bull Cow approved. And so, of course, is the yellow one. They're both excellent peppers. Uncle Bull Cow freaking loves you. Why?